How are you doing today? I am bouncy, brilliant, blooming. Nice. Are you feeling bombastic? Sometimes, but I'm not particularly bearded. Hmm, yes, I wouldn't think so. But, but you do seem rather bubbly today. Yes. And um, slightly baffled, perhaps, because. What? What? Looks like you've got a friend and it's a furry friend. Uh, are you being visited by a bear, Amy? Yeah, this is a uh, bear niece. She's apparently Alistair's distant cousin. Wow, when, yeah, very distant. <laughs> when he went on vacation, um, he went to Bernice's house and he talked about how much fun he had at story time. So she decided to join us. Nice. And um, have a bear on deck. <laughs> yeah. So she Hi, would, she would really like to um, do a little dance with you. Okay. So, yeah. Awesome. We're going to have some fun. Some bear moves will get busted out, right? Hmm. And I'm thinking all of this talk might mean that on this brisk and blustery day, we will be celebrating the letter B. I'm trying to, beautiful there they are. Oh, beautiful. Those, those are some beautiful bees. Those are some blingy bees. They are, they're very sparkly <laughs> bees. Um, yeah, I like them. Nice. Okay, well, I think we're gonna have a uh, blazing good time today. <laughs> but first, before we get started, as you know, We've got to get warmed up. We've got to get all the wiggles out. So we're going to do something that has a B in it. We're going to do the alphabet beat. Are you ready? Bernice. You think, is, Bernice? Yeah. She's very excited. Okay. Well, you got to help Bernice. Okay. So we are going to start out by going like this. First, clap your hands then stomp your feet. Everybody's doing the alphabet beat. Apple, apple, apple. A, A, A. Apple, apple, apple. A, A, A. Now wave your arms high, swing your arms low. The alphabet beat is the way to go. Bubble, bubble, bubble. B, B, B. Bubble, bubble, bubble. B, B, B. Now move to the left and move to the right. The alphabet beat is way out of sight. Car, car, car. C, C, C. Car, car, car. C, C, C. Now shout it out loud and whisper down low. The alphabet beat is the way to go. Dog, dog, dog. D, D, D. Dog, dog, dog. D, D, D. Now give a high five to a nearby friend. <laughs> the alphabet beat has come to an end. <laughs> I like giving a high five to a bear. That feels awesome. Yeah, I think Bernice is going to um, sit by and watch our magic now. So you can say goodbye to her. Bye, Bernice. So, Sam, I have some really great words that start with B. There are a lot of good ones. There are so many great words that start with B. Um, let's start here. Do you know Oregon State animal? Oh, yeah. I think it's on the Oregon State flag, right? You have two little tiny beavers. They're so <laughs> cute. <laughs> beavers are awesome. Also, the mascot of OSU, right? Yes, that is correct. But we didn't want to bring that up because we're not it's, partisan. It's controversial, right? <laughs> Okay, so we have bear, which seems to be big and rumbly. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we have a little animal. I don't even think they make a noise. Maybe they chatter a little. They have to chew constantly because their teeth grow throughout their lives. Hmm. And they hop around. Oh, a bunny. Yeah, a right? bunny. Okay, a bunny. That's interesting. So do they? Do their teeth just constantly grow then? And they yeah. They, they chew them to keep the teeth shorter. Yep. Well, that's fascinating. Learn something new every day. Awesome. Okay. I'm <laughs> two for two. Okay. We have three to go. Okay. I'm still feeling brilliant. Okay. So these are an insect. Bumblebees. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of bees in that one. I, I love a bumblebee. An insect that we need to protect, right? Yes. And that's what I was going to say. Them. Okay. Plant and your then, garden with bumblebees in mind. Um, so a lot of sports need this type of thing in order to be played well. Like a basket, basket base. Oh, foot. a ball. <laughs> a ball. <laughs> yeah, I was probably going to go through all of the things you weren't thinking of before I got to ball. So thank you for the help. <laughs> okay. Finally, um, I'm just going to give you the Spanish word and you can tell me 
the English word. Fun. Mariposa. Ah, butterfly. Nice. I just had a book that I read yesterday that had a mariposa in it. Beautiful. Lovely. We love a butterfly. Well, good job. You got all five. Woo! I'm feeling brilliant. <laughs> All right. Well, we've covered lots of awesome words, right? It's time for us to put them into action with our heckety peckety bumblebee, a couple bees right there. So we're going to need a one syllable B word. You, you got any good ones, Amy? I do. But before we do that, let's um, remind our audience what B sounds like. Okay, let's do it. B is a pretty easy one. Some letters have a lot of complicated different sounds, but B, you pretty much just go B. B. <laughs> It doesn't have a whole lot of different Oy. ways that you can do B, right? Bubble. <laughs> yeah. So B. Okay. Nice so and straightforward. Thank you, B. This is our capital. Yep. Double loops. Yep. And this is our lowercase. Oh, cute. Now, this, if it was flipped the other way, it would be a D. It really would, um, yeah. which is why we bedazzled it. <laughs> we bedazzled it with bling. Okay. So one of my favorite words starts with B and it is one syllable. Are you ready? I'm ready. Book. Oh, yeah. You know, we kind of work with a lot of those. <laughs> we might say that we are book people. Okay, so let's do book in heckety peckety style. It goes like this. Heckety peckety bumblebee, won't you say this word with me? Book. 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 Book! <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're on two syllables. And I've got one of my favorite words, which has three Bs in it. Are you ready for it? Yes. Bubble. That's a perfect B Got word. Got a lot of words, right? A lot of Bs. Yeah. Okay, so let's yeah. do bubble. Okay, it goes like this. Heckety peckety bumblebee, won't you say this word with me? Bubble. 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 Bubble! <laughs> okay, so we got one and two. Well, I'm going to copy you with a word that has lots of Bs in it and is very important to our food. Bumblebee. The bumblebee. All right. That does have a lot of bumblebee. That has three bees in it. Three bees. Yeah. Great. Okay. Let's celebrate the bumblebee. Goes like this. Heckety peckety bumblebee. Won't you say this word with me? Bumblebee. 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 <gasps> bumblebee! <laughs> <laughs> Rough. I went too crazy on that one. Okay. So now we're up to four syllables. Okay. I have an animal, but really what I love about this word is it's an excellent heart song that goes like this. <laughs> so a little rendition of hearts, wonderful song, Barracuda. <laughs> is that for Barracuda? Yes. Okay. So let's do it. It goes like this. Heckity peckity bumblebee. Won't you say this word with me? Barracuda. 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 <laughs> Sorry. I really do love heart quite a lot. I do too, actually. So that was fun. <laughs> Whoa. Did we already make it to the story? We're so. B is so much fun. It's just going by. It's flying. Yeah. It's. It's a bountiful, beautiful letter, B. It is. It is. It's an excellent. Oh, that doesn't start with B. It's a uh, brilliant letter. Brilliant, yes. <laughs> okay, so um, what do you have for us today? Well, um, this could be a memoir by me about one of my cats. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's bad cats. Look at that cat. Is he pulling that A <laughs> off of the word cat? Yeah, he is. <laughs> by Nicola O'Byrne. And you have to watch all the way to the end because there's a very special guest appearance from my very own Bad Cats. Awesome. Hi, everybody. Today's letter B story is Bad Cat by Nicola O'Byrne. Now, if you have a cat at home, you know they can be so sweet and snuggly and terrible. Uh, looks like the cat stole the A. Bad cat. Hmm. Hello, my little fluffy kins. How are you today? Do you like my flowers? Ba 
Puppykins, please be careful with the flowers. Fluffykins, that wasn't very nice. Don't walk away. I think you need to apologize. Fluffykins, don't you dare touch my knitting. kids! Now, that's two things you need to apologize for. Well, come on. I'm waiting. Fluffy kids! Fluffy kids! What have you done now? Now go and think about what you've done. Oh, hello. You're back. Is there anything you'd like to say? That's very cute, Fluffykins, but you broke a vase, you ruined the knitting, you scratched the sofa, you sat on the computer, you bent the blinds, you did bad things to the toilet paper, and let's not even talk about the pee. I still need you to apologize. Bye. Thank you, Fluffykins. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now let's clean everything up and forget all about it. Fluffykins? Fluffykins! Bad Cat! And that is the story of Bad Cat by Nicola O'Byrne. And now I'm going to show you my very own bad cat. This is Linus. And he's not a very bad cat, actually. He's a very good boy. Thanks for watching, Bad Cat! Okay. That was awesome. I love Nicola Oburn. She's got some other really great books. So if you loved that, people, go check out all our yes. stuff. Fantastic stuff. And if right you now. don't have a bad cat, you can get one. The shelters are full. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you could also get a good cat. <laughs> you I never do know. Have, it's a roll I do of the have, dice. <laughs> I have a good cat. I have one good cat and I have one bad cat. And the poor good cat gets tortured by the bad cat. <laughs> exactly. But I got to tell you, my bad cat who you met at the end of the book is the most loving cat I have ever had in my life. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that they won't like sit on a countertop and knock off your precious glass figurines. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. Awesome. Okay. Well, we're now ready for song time, right? And, and I'm kind of excited because today's song is a song that you and I used to do in story time all the time. We like once a month, I would bust out Bananas Unite because it's so much fun. So we're going to do Bananas Unite a la uh, Mello and wait, what are those people's names? Um, Brian and Mello, Jello and Michael, Michael and Jello. Michael, Michael and, and Jello. Jello. <laughs> I knew I'd get there eventually. <laughs> um, so we're going to do Bananas Unite. All right, like we said, we're going to do one of our favorite story time songs, Bananas Unite. And it's got some fun motions that I want to show you. First, every time I say Bananas Unite, you're going to do this. Clap your hands over your head and make yourself into a big old banana. Then we are going to, in the first verse, peel bananas, peel, peel bananas. Then in the second verse, we're going to chop bananas, chop, chop bananas. The third verse, we're going to slice bananas, slice, slice bananas. Now we got them all prepped. In the fourth verse, we're going to eat bananas, eat, eat bananas. And finally, we're going to do something super fun in the fifth verse. Okay. <laughs> so I'll pop in a little video of how to do this and let's have a good time. It goes like this. Peel bananas, peel, peel bananas. 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 Bananas unite. Okay, now we're gonna chop. Chop bananas, chop.
chop chop bananas, chop bananas, 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 chop chop bananas. Bananas unite, now slice them. Slice bananas, slice slice bananas, 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 slice bananas, slice slice bananas. Bananas unite. Okay, now we're gonna eat them. Eat bananas, eat eat bananas, 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 eat bananas, eat eat bananas. Bananas unite. Okay, last one. Go bananas, go go bananas, 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 bananas unite. Nice job. Oh Sam, I've missed bananas uniting. I have missed bananas uniting as well. I've missed standing in front of a bunch of kids acting like a giant banana, really, you know, when it comes right down to it. Yeah, I love to talk about the shape of a banana. Because it's a crescent oh, like the moon. It is a crescent like the moon. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. So uh are we on to joke time? We are. Is, and it's gonna be a good week for me. Um it's all Last knock week. knocks. So yes. Knock knocks are impossible to guess. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready to laugh. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Bacon. Bacon who? Bacon a cupcake just for you. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. I might actually do that in a tiny tats. <laughs> okay. So what's the next one? Knock, knock. Who's there? Beaver E. <laughs> Beaver E who? <laughs> Beaver E quiet in the library. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that one was a little weird, but okay. But it involved Good. the library, so I felt a need. Yeah. Okay, what's the last one? Knock, knock. Who's there? Bettina. Bettina who? Bettina, minute you'll open the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there were some two very weird jokes in there, Amy. <laughs> First one, nice and standard. <laughs> Second one, little off the wall. Third one, what the heck is a Bettina? Bet in a minute. <laughs> Bet in a minute you'll open the door. <laughs> I don't okay, know if yeah. I'm supposed to say Betina. That's not a name, though. Neither of them are names. <laughs> it's just a bad joke. <laughs> but it's good to get some bad jokes in there, right? Because it, it makes the good jokes look even better. <laughs> like, wow, that story time was so much fun. It went by so fast. It was a, a bonanza of bouncy book brilliance. <laughs> I've used brilliant way too many times. <laughs> it's a good word though, brilliant. I it like is it. it is, I like the fact that it's both for smarts and then also like something can shine brilliantly. You know, yes. Like got, got a lot of meanings. Okay, well, I think it's time for us to say goodbye. And so we're going to say goodbye the way that we now do by singing the goodbye train, which goes to the tune of She'll Be Coming Round the Mountain. So we'll sing that and then we'll talk about a little bit about next week. So the goodbye train, you got to get your trains out. Amy's going to be our train whistle. And it goes like this. It goes, oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Okay, Amy, so what are we going to say uh, hello to next week? We're going to say hello to the letter B. Ah, <laughs> that's the same letter that we did this week because there's so much great B stuff, right? It is a Bears, bounty bubbles, of yeah. a letter. <laughs> okay. It's a bounty. Awesome. So then our final verse of the goodbye train will be like so. Okay, get your trains out. It goes like this. Oh, we won't say goodbye to B. See you soon. <laughs> oh, we won't say goodbye to B. See you soon. <laughs> oh, we won't say goodbye to B. Oh, we won't say goodbye to B. Oh, we won't say goodbye to B. See you soon. <laughs> Be. all right <laughs> Ber Bernice is already looking forward to to coming back <laughs> nice <laughs> I hope I don't have to feed her for a week oh it, it could be dodgy Amy <laughs> get your bear food Hi.